Yo, what is good, my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. So on the menu today, you guys, I am doing a fish and chips feast or a fried seafood and chips platter, if you will. We got fried oysters, we have beer battered cod, uh, shrimp tempura, and fresh cut french fries. This video has been highly requested by one person in particular, and I'm pretty sure you've seen her in my comment section of my videos and commenting on all of my live streams. When are you doing fish and chips with lots of tartar sauce? Well, guess what? Today is the day. <laughs> Yo, I tried to go look for that, that person's comment so I could shout out her name. Um, I had took a screenshot of it a while back. I cannot find it at all. Um, so if you know who you are, comment in the comments below and I will show you some mad love. All right, let's get started because I am starving. Heavenly Father, I ask that you please bless this food even though it is so unhealthy and greasy. Please protect me from it. <laughs> you know I don't do this often. But thank you so much. And please bless those that are going without. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Alright you guys. Oh my god. I don't even know where to start. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a piece of fish. So this is a beard battered cod from Costco. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. It is super crispy. So I'm gonna do a little bit of liver. And then this is the uh, tartar sauce that I like to use. This is from Albertsons. Okay. Okay. So we got that tartar sauce going there. Hmm. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Oh my god. These fried oysters are from H Mart. Real quick, you guys, before I forget, as most of you guys already know, I have a second channel. It's my ASMR channel. And I posted a new video today. Well, I'm posting this tomorrow. So, yesterday, I posted a new video. And as I was playing it back, yo, I have a big bowl of ranch right here. I'm going to put Tabasco in it. As I was playing it back during editing, I, I heard something very unsettling. And I, I used to watch a lot of those uh, like ghost hunters. And you know how they say that when you put a, a, like a high sensitivity mic and you record, you know how they're like, hey, you know, is there anybody here knock three times or you know if there's someone here blah 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 you know and then they don't hear it right then and there but when they go back to the to the studio and like pull up the sound and amplify it they hear the ghosts re responding well anyway when i was editing my video yesterday i ended up getting to a certain part of the video where i heard someone say um, Lord help me. It said like, Lord help me or something like that. Um, you know, people have been commenting on there and telling me what they think they heard. And, you know, it sounds like everything everyone is saying, you know, I, I don't know. It sounds like many different things. But, um, if you guys want to hear it, go to my channel, B BGA ASMR. And I have it posted there. Let me know what you guys think you hear. I'm just, you guys know, I have been experiencing 
uh, paranormal activity here in my house uh, for the longest now, for at least the last two years. And it all happened when I first went to the cemetery uh, for my cousin's viewing. And I'll get into that just a little bit in just a little bit. Let me take a couple more bites. <clears throat> what? Oh my God. Do you know how hard it was for me to cook all of this and not taste it? I'm gonna show you that. Oh my goodness. Oh. If you're a person that wants to try oysters, and you, I'm gonna eat all of these for sure, and you don't want to try the raw ones, go to H Mart and they have these. Oh my gosh, these are killer. Mm. Wow. I'm not gonna be able to stop eating these. <laughs> I also have some cocktail sauce. <clears throat> oh, that Tabasco hot. Okay. These shrimp tempura from Costco. Mmm. Mmm. They have a box of 30 shrimp tempura for I believe like 15, 16 bucks. You guys, these are the best shrimp tempura I have ever had and I bought them from many grocery stores. Mm. Wow. Mm. You guys have got to get on these. They come with a really good sweet sauce. But I wanted more like savory tonight. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. All right. So anyway, so I believe it was like maybe two, three years ago. One of my cousins passed away. We went to the wake, you know, the service in the church, in the chapel. And then um, we made our way to the cemetery. And it was a beautiful service, beautiful funeral, all that. We laid him to rest. That day, so that day we got home. I'm sitting at the kitchen table and my mom's sitting on the couch in the living room. Um, my floor plan is connected, my, my dining room, with my living room. And me and my mom are sitting adjacent from each other, maybe no more than four or five feet apart. Like five feet apart. Um, she was staring, like I was staring this way, she was staring that way, but almost like facing each other. And I was eating in, in the at the table. I don't know what she was doing. And literally on the other side of the table, like four feet away from me, from the ceiling, I see this black, like not black, it was like dark gray shadow. But like, not even just a shadow, it was like a fog. Like a fog. It was in the, in the, in like in the present. It wasn't like, like a shadow on a wall. Like it was, it manifested itself like, whatever and so it's falling and, and i can see it from my peripheral vision and as i look up i got a caught a glimpse of it and it literally fell at this pace like that and it went behind the table and i'm like what is going on here so then mm, mm, i forgot i had fries these are fresh cut fries 
there and hold on let me dig into these mm. wow I love fresh homemade french fries so my way it floats behind the table and the first thought in my mind because I'm a very very rational person most of the time and I try to always rationalize everything first because I'm a, I'm a a chicken when it comes to ghosts spirits anything that has to do with that kind of stuff I am a scaredy cat so I always try to rationalize everything first and make that like a last um, reason you know so I'm like okay the first thing I thought is it's a it's a black store bag you know when you go to like the liquor store and they give you the black bags for your groceries well that's what I initially thought it was and so I get up and I look all around the table there's nothing on the floor nothing anywhere on the ground and nothing that resembled what I just saw fall. So mind you, at the same time that I'm seeing this, I'm just describing my point of view first. But at the same time that I see this, before I get up from the table, oh no, 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 no. I had already got up from the table and I'm looking and my mom's looking dead at me. And I go, did you just see that? And she goes, yes. I said, you first. I wanna see if you, if you are gonna say the same thing I am. She says, it was like a black smoke, like a black thing. And I said, yes. I started screaming. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was like, you saw the same thing I did. Oh, I know I'm not going crazy. I was like, Mom, I swear. I thought it was a plastic, a black plastic bag or something. And she's like, no, mijo. I saw it. I saw it, too. I was like, oh, my God. That just validated and confirmed what I had saw. So, hold on. So listen to this. So then uh, my mom gets right away. You know, my mom gets the Bible. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, oopsies. Oh, man. I'm making a mess over here. This tartar sauce is fire. It has like dill in it. Oh my gosh. Mm. So my mom, this is the Bible. And we start walking around the whole, the whole house. And my mom's like, if you followed us from the uh, from the cemetery or from the morgue, I mean the funeral home, you need to leave. This is the house of the Lord. This is a, a God-fearing house. You need to, you are not welcomed here. You need to go to the light. You are gone from this world. You are not a part of this world anymore. You need to leave, go to the light, go with Jesus. You know, we're praying. Um, I think everything was okay, you know, for a, a while. And then I want to say, it could have been a couple days or a week later. I kind of like put that out of my mind because I try not to like let myself get too scared. So I put it on, I kind of like made myself forget about it. Um, from this from this moment what I'm about to tell you next is the big reason why I no longer sleep in the complete darkness uh, 
I bought some little blue night lights from Amazon and they're very, very faint, but it just casts enough light, like a little glowing light, so the rooms are not like pitch black. But anyway, so I'm already in bed. It's pitch black dark in my room. And there's just a little bit of light from my DVR player. I have the time and the time is casting a little bit of a light. And so I fall asleep and all of a sudden I'm woken up from what people call, what is that called? Sleep paralysis. So I end up waking up and I open my eyes and I'm paralyzed, full body paralyzation. But I'm so, I'm so conscious of what is going on around me. I can barely move and I'm trying to scream in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. But I felt this pr immense pressure bestow like on top of me. And I couldn't move. I was like, and in my head, I was screaming, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And then, you know, and I'm like freaking out. And all of a sudden, oh my God, I'm lying. Hold on, hold on. I'm confusing it with the other one. Hold on. Hold up. Yes, I've had sleep paralysis like four different times since that incident. I'm sorry, hold on you guys, I got mixed up with another another occasion. Sorry, this one, same thing, pitch black, but I'm sleeping on my side and I'm woken up to two hands on my thigh and I could hear someone screaming like, ah! screaming like that, right? But I'm like asleep, so I'm thinking I'm dreaming, you know? And I felt the two hands pushing me into the bed, like bouncing me back and forth into the bed. And so I wake up and I'm like, oh. that's when I like open my eyes and I'm paralyzed, full body paralyzation. You guys, I did forget to mention that when I first woke up, I could still feel the hands imprinted on my thigh. Kind of like when, you know, somebody grabs you hard by let's say the arm or something and they hold it down for a good minute. And when they let go, you can still feel where they grabbed you. That's exactly the same thing I felt on my thigh. And uh, that, again, I'm trying, every time this happens to me, I try screaming in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, la da 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 da. And um, I can't talk. Nothing comes out of my mouth, but I could hear myself going like, uh, 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 uh. and then I try moving my arm, like lifting my arm, like, you know, and I can't no matter for for the lot for the life of me. I cannot move And so When I as I open my eyes I caught a glimpse of like a lady with black bushy hair and like a white gown Couldn't see any face or anything like that but, you know, it's kind of like I was in that state of like asleep, but I awake, you know, I just woke up. And so, you know, I don't, they say that when, when you're in that state between like asleep and awake, that is your psyche, your uh, um, like psychic ability um, zone. I don't know how to describe it. Sylvia Brown used to talk about it all the time. I don't know if you guys remember Sylvia Brown from Montel. Um, but yeah, she used to say that that's that when you're in that state, that is when you're most vulnerable to hearing spirits and stuff like that. And I'm seeing them. So yeah, that's what happened to me within that week of going to the funeral home and the cemetery and all that. And again, I opened up my my Bible to Psalms and prayed super hard. 
I was so scared. I swear for like a whole two weeks. I slept with my lights on and my TV. <laughs> my electric bill. Oh my God. But yeah, I was too scared. Oh my God. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below. Has anybody else ever experienced um, sleep paralysis? And if you did, what was your experience? Like, did you see anything? Did you hear anything? Or you just felt like that paralyzation? Um, what was your experience? I want to know because I don't really talk to a lot of people who have experienced this. So I'm right now, I kind of feel like I'm just alone in my own boat. You know what I mean? I haven't really heard anyone else that I know of experienced that. And it was pretty scary for me. And, you know, just the other day, I want to say like two weeks ago, you guys, this one's super scary. So if you're sensitive to like scary stuff, kind of skip through this. But, um, cause this one's a little bit scarier than the last. <laughs> so mind you, I pray every night before I go to bed and I don't know why this happens to me I don't know if something attached itself to us from that from that funeral God forbid but I have you know ever since that incident I have experienced four different sleep paralysis I had never experienced that in my life before and so, well, anyway, a couple weeks ago, I was asleep again on my side. And that's how I sleep on my side. So I'm laying on my side. And the, the first thing that I feel is someone crawl into the bed with me. Normally, I would have thought... Like, is this a sexy puppy chulo or whatever? Honey, you wouldn't have heard a peep out of me. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So anyway, yeah, someone crawled into the bed. And I felt it. And I'm like, barely like trying to wake up. And all of a sudden, I hear in my ear. You guys, I'm going to mimic it exactly how it or Very close to how I heard it. The breathing was like this, like, <laughs> like that. That's exactly how I heard it. Um, as I'm sipping on my side, right here, I felt them crawl their hand, like put their hand to hug me. I can feel them breathing right here. And so, this is like my side. They have their hand on my side. And this is how I felt the hand, right? So I open my eyes. And my room is pitch black. Oh, not pitch black. I have a little bit of the, the light from the nightlight. And I literally, I'm trying to move my hand. And I'm like, oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, I rebuke whatever's touching me. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. And so anyway, I managed for my hand to move because I was struggling with all my might. And I managed to touch the hand. And as soon as I touched it, it went like this. It like, it pulled away and like disappeared. And as soon as that happened, I went, <gasps> like I started to gasp for air. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Mind you, my eyes were open the whole time, right? What I touched with my hand you guys, the hand felt small, cold, wrinkly, and dry, hard, and dry, like, like, oh, oh my god, I'm getting the chills. It felt like I would imagine a corpse hand feeling like, like it was atrocious. And I got up, I turned on the lights, I got on my knees at the edge of my bed, 
And I prayed out loud. I was like, in the name of Jesus, God, please, you know, protect me. I rebuke all evil, all negativity, demons, spirits, ghosts, whatever. I went through the whole list. And I was like, God, please, you know, uh, ban this, whatever it is, rebuke it out of my house. <sighs> and like I said, that was like a couple weeks back. So I don't know what it is. I don't know. But... I don't know what it is. These are so bomb. Mm. Oh, that oyster flavor. Oh my goodness. And the batter around it. So flaky, it's not dense at all. The batter is not dense. It's almost like like a pinkoey type crust, like tempura batter with like a pinko crust. So flaky and light. Anyway. Like I said, let me know if you guys have experienced anything like this or what the heck. I don't know if I need to burn sage, call a priest up a here. You know, I just, we just been praying and you know, we don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it could be, but anywho, I just, whatever it is, it's not going to deter me from my faith. You know, my faith is stronger than ever. My relationship with God has been stronger than it has ever been in my life. And I know that I'm a good person. And, you know, whatever it is, it's just trying to bring me down or attack me or make me feel scared. I know that's the main one. Whatever it is, it's trying to make me feel fear and, and whatever, but it's not going to work. Sorry, honey, I am protected and bound by the blood of Christ, and there's nothing you could do about it. Okay? All right. Well, on a lighter note, this food was absolutely delicious. The person that had been requesting this for months now, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was for you. Um, again, these fried oysters are from H Mart in the freezer section. They're raw, battered raw and frozen, and then, you know, whatever. Um, the cod is from Costco, and so is a tempura. The french fries were fresh. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to my BGA crew for your love and support. If you're watching this and you're not yet a part of this amazing family, the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video and every time that I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.